Lesson 1. The way of making a scene. Now, you might wonder why my voice sounds like this. Who knows, I may be a murderer that don't want to have my voice recognized. Anyways, in this video I'm going to tell you which methods I use when creating machinimas. To start off with I'm using fraps for the recording of the footages. Well model viewer, I use After Effects for all the effects and such, and then render it out from After Effects in Trasoni Vegas for the final touch. We are going to create a basic dance scene, something similar to this one. Let's get going. Open After Effects. Just make a new project peeps. I was confused at this point, had a hard time finding my clips. Let me sing for you. And when I'm gone, just carry on, don't mourn. Rejoice every time you hear the sound of my voice. Seems like I found them. I'll continue singing again when I screw things up peeps. Drag them down to the timeline, the red area peeps. I keep my wow chocolate on top of the background, or else it won't be visible. Click on your footage in this view and hold down left mouse button to position it. We're gonna make the blue background transparent. Go to effect, key, key light, select that tool and click on the blue background. Good job. You can see that the character is a little transparent as well. To fix this turn the screen balance to zero. Okay, we are now going to create a shadow to this guy. There are two kind of shadows that I use. The circle shadow, who is a bit unrealistic, but looks all good because those are used in the game. And this kind of shadow, believe it or not, this one is easier to make. Let's start with the circle shadow. Go up to layer, new, solid, and name it shadow or just click OK. Now click on the ellipse tool, hold down ALT to go through the different forms. Click on the circle, click anywhere on the screen and make a circle. Hold down SHIFT while making it. Go down to effects and preset, red area, and type in basic 3D. Drag it from there to your shadow, adjust the tilt, play around with it until you think it looks good. Does that look any good? I will use 73 degrees, move the shadow underneath your character, like so. Great peeps. Go to your timeline. Click on the shadow layer. Mask. And set the mask feather to around 20. We have to turn the opacity down on the shadow. Select the layer in the timeline, and hit the letter T on your keyboard. Now turn the opacity down to around 50% like so. Ok great ladies and gentlemen, we have now created the first kind of shadow, the circle shadow. Let's create the second one now, with the shadow against the wall shadow. Alright then let's start, select your clip, and click on effect. Sometimes it's hard enough just dealing with real life, sometimes I wanna jump on stage. Perspective, drop shadow. Play around with these settings, till you think it looks right. These are the settings that I use for this clip. Now you'll see that the shadow ain't lined up with our footage. To fix this, things will get a little more complicated. Duplicate the character clip, select it and hold in control and click on the on your keyboard. Now this character has two shadows, so let's delete the shadow of the upper clip. Select the clip below, hit enter, type in shadow, that's what I'll name it. We just want to reveal our shadow in the shadow clip, so click in the box shadow only. Sweet peeps, now there are two separate clips, great. Go to the effects and presets and type in liquify. Add it to the shadow layer. Liquify allows you to drag your footage's pixels around with a brush, first of all make the brush a little smaller. Click on Warp Tool option. I will set my brush size of this tool to 50. And just hold down the left mouse button and drag on the screen like so. I'm gonna speed this part up. Okay, that's all there is to it. There is another way of creating a shadow, but I ain't got the time. How to create the light sweep? This effect is very useful, I use it all the time. It gives a better look to the character, I used it in this footage for example. Let's get started. 